I'm Bob Weil with Visual Sound, and you're watching the Musician Network. So anyhow, let's just uh, go through a few tones real quick. Let's just show you a, a couple of uh, a couple of options that we have. Uh, first of all, down at the bottom where the guitar is plugged in on our lovely display here, uh, we've got our Garage Tone series that came out just about a year or so ago. They're a lot lower cost than most pedals out there, but myself and RG Keen, our engineer, we spent just as much time designing those as we did anything else we've ever designed. So like, here's a phaser for example. Go ahead and uh, play some there. Switch on the drivetrain overdrive. And then uh, let's try the chainsaw distortion real quick. actually a lot nicer than its name might suggest. It's a, it's a really classy distortion. A little tremolo maybe? That's the most extreme setting there. And then the uh, Garage Tone Axle Grease Delay. fun to do. Um, going up to our, our V2 series, just a real quick review. The Root 808 Overdrive is our improvement on a Tube Screamer. It's in a lot, it's in a lot of these pedals. The Root 808 is in the Root 66, that's that overdrive. It's also in the Jekyll and Hyde, that's also the Root 808 in that overdrive right there. The Double Trouble is simply two Root, two root 808s in series kind of like Stevie Ray used to do, thus the name. Um, it's, just, it's just a great sounding tube screen kind of thing. Now it's, um, we have another overdrive called the Open Road which is, it doesn't have that mid-ranginess that uh, the Root 808 has, it's, uh, it's open sounding, that's, that, that's why we call it that. Also works very well on bass, by the way. And then, my favorite combination actually is the Root 808 going into the open road. Jekyll and Hyde, we got, a lot of people know this pedal, it's been around a long time. And then you can even combine the channels. I 
first designed the original Jekyll and Hyde back in 1997, and my wife and I put together the first hundred of them on our kitchen table, believe it or not. Um, it's come a long way since then. It's got a noise getting in it now. I've, I've been working for however many years, 15 years, I guess, on sweetening the sound of that, of that pedal over and over again until it's gotten to the point where it is now, and I think I'm happy with it. We'll see. Same with the Route 66. Compression and overdrive in one box. If you just want compression by itself, you can... The amp is overdriving, by the way, not the uh, pedal. The, the, the compressor in the Route 66 actually has a boost built into it. So it's, I've got it cranked up a little bit. Angry Fuzz is just a whole lot of fun. It's a, it's a fuzz pedal. But it also has an octave that you can blend in with the anger level knob. It's a whole lot of fun. The, what just came out, oh, sorry, quick liquid chorus demo. I don't want to take too much time here. Just a very lush sounding chorus. It's beautiful. Um, what just came out this uh, a few months ago was the dual tap delay. And now it's little brother over here, which is coming out this summer, the single tap, or just the delay, tap delay. There we go. Um, it's two delays in one box that are identical, so you can set one at like a, uh, a quarter note, set the other maybe at a dotted eighth, get that real U2 kind of a spacious sound, you know? Let me, let me kick them both on at the same time. It's just a, it's a very warm sounding delay. You can roll off the tone on each one if you want to or not. You can set it into manual mode or not, manual or tap. Um, on the fly even you can do that. So if you want to just flick over to a quick slap back, you can do that with the manual mode and the manual mode uh, delay time knob. Or of course tap tempo on, on it. One tap on this guy synchronizes both of them. So that's pretty cool. And then also coming out, Later uh, this summer is this Time Bandit over here. The Time Bandit is a genius little box. It's a BPM generator when it's in this mode. So I can just dial up whatever I want in terms of beats per minute. It'll tell the delay pedal what to do, and that could be a boss or a visual sound or whatever. Or I can plug in, say, a drum machine or a Pro Tools session or any audio click track. It'll go into click track mode. CLC, click track mode. It'll tell the pedal exactly what to do according to the click track. I'm Bob Weil with Visual Sound, and you're watching the Musician Network.